Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Grace and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We talked about Jesus Christ being priest. We talk about him being the prophet. We talk about him being king. We talk about his present ministry. We talked about his past ministry. We also talked about his future ministry. And so as we continue to look at the future ministry of Jesus Christ, we know that he is always faithful in keeping his words. We have seen prophecies and covenants coming to pass. Since he has been faithful in keeping his promises in the past, we can be assured that the prophecies yet to be fulfilled shall come to pass. We know Jesus is the center of all scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. He was our prophet. We have his word. He is our priest. He ever liveth, the scripture says, to make intercession for us. Therefore, when we pray in the name of Jesus, we know that he shall be king over all the earth. He is now head of the church. He is never called the king of the church. He shall come one day for his bride. He shall come and take the church away and we shall return and reign with the king in his kingdom when he sets up the millennial kingdom rule in Jerusalem. The Psalms witness to the ministry of Christ in all his three offices as a prophet, as a priest, and as a king. So when we look at the, tri the trilogy, meaning these three Psalms, I will just uh, leave them with you and not uh, read them to their entirety but just to let you know that Psalm 22 will witness to his past. Psalm 23 will give witness to his present. And Psalm 24 will also give witness to the future. So as we look back at Psalm 22, and I hope you will read it, which is witnessing to his past. We know Jesus Christ is the crucified prophet. Remember, we are talking about him in this threefold ministry as prophet, priest, and king. So in Psalm 22, in the past, we see him as the crucified prophet. We see him as the suffering savior. We see him as the good shepherd also in St. John 10 and verse 11. So and in the past also we saw the cross. In the present in Psalm 23 as it gives a witness we see him as the risen 
priest, the one who ever live it and make it intercession for us. We see him in the present as the good shepherd. And also another scripture I want to leave with you, Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 20. And we see the crook. So in the past, we saw the cross. In the present, we see the crook. In Psalm 24, in the future, as the reigning king, we saw him that he will be the exalted sovereign one. He is the chief shepherd. Now the scripture I want to leave with you is First Peter chapter 5 and verse 4. And in the future we will see him wearing the crown. So as we see, the Psalms testify to his past, his present, and his future. Uh, the Psalm testified about him in the past, Psalm 22 being the prophet. In the present, Psalm 23 being the risen priest. And in the future, Psalm 24 has the reigning king. So the scripture is very clear that he holds all these three offices of prophet, priest, and king. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please like, please comment. Also, please share. And don't forget to subscribe and to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady